All right, whether you're hosting a Super Bowl party at home or maybe you're going somewhere, you have to have at least one dip on Super Bowl Sunday, right? Chef, Definitely. That's a, that's a rule, an unwritten rule. This is Chef Todd Sabo from the Rugby Grill, which is part of the Townsend. So welcome. Yes. Thank you so much. We know that when the Townsend comes in, it's not going to be a, a jar of salsa. <laughs> it's going to be a different <laughs> level. We're making, what do you call this, spiced pepita guacamole? With roasted garlic, yes ma'am. All right, so well, how, let's do this first, and then we'll talk about some of your other dips. Great. There's no trick to making fantastic guacamole. It's all about fresh ingredients. The nice we thing about some... guac is that it's, it is healthy, too. It's, it's got all that healthy fat, and, you know, we're encouraged to eat avocados. And so this is one of the, the healthier options on a Super Bowl Sunday. And Americans are slated to consume 139 million pounds of, of, avo guac? of avocado, mostly in the form of guac, this weekend. Wow. So you're going to mash your avocados up? Yeah. Then we're going to add a little bit. And you just scooped them right out, no problem. We're going to squeeze a little bit of beautifully roasted garlic. Now, how did you roast that like that, Chef? Cut it in half, yeah. drizzle it with olive oil, salt, put it in the oven at 350 degrees for approximately an hour and a half. So you cut it in half, you buy the big garlic, first of all. Yes, ma'am. And you cut it in half and you put it, okay. And then you just squeezed out the, the cooked garlic and yep. the juices. I'm going to mash it around just right. a little bit. Good. And the rest is all downhill. We're just going to add a little bit of diced red onion, aroma tomato, jalapeno, freshly chopped cilantro. Mm -hmm. And then if there is any secret, if you'll pardon my reach, yeah. we do add a little bit of sour cream. Oh, okay. Just a little bit. What, what's the uh, pepitas part of it? Those are toasted pumpkin seeds okay. that we've tossed in chili peppers. Oh, okay. So we're going to add that at the end. So that goes on top like we have here. And that's all there is to it. Oh, it looks good. A little bit good. of fresh lime juice. The other secret is the right amount of lime and the right amount of salt. Yeah, you got to squeeze that in, right? Yes, ma'am. And then you can add more if you want it to be spicier. Do you add hot sauce or do you add more um, jalapenos if you want I it would to add spicier? more jalapenos. And then you can always add cayenne okay. or your favorite hot sauce. All right. Fantastic. What's your favorite vessel for distributing the, um, the guacamole? <laughs> if you're lucky enough to have uh, mocajete, okay. which is the stone mortar and pestle okay, that yeah. they used to use and yeah. actually grind it in. So. Oh. What do you so think it goes best that? with? Uh, as far tortilla as chip-wise, yeah. fresh tortilla chips. Fresh tortilla That's always chips the right here? Dog. That yes. is a good question because yes. I was thinking yes. to myself, how can we eat guac and not use a tortilla? If we wanted to eat it on something healthy, like what could you dip in there? Like a veggie? Right here, like a veggie I have or? an air-popped corn Ooh. chip that's gluten-free as well. All right, let me try that. You could also use a $55 hamburger. Yeah, we got to talk about this hamburger. Dip that in there. So, Chef, let's um, describe. Let's see. Do you guys know what these layers are? Can you guess? What do we have on the bottom? So starting on the bottom, we have uh, <laughs> house-made onion jam, some onion braised jam. short rib, short followed rib. by that insanely delicious burger patty, tome cheese. We have freshly shaved witter truffles, wow. followed by a seared piece of foie gras, a little bit of Parmesan aioli, and then arugula. Have you sold a lot of these? Quite a few. You have? Quite a few. All right, wait, we got to dig into these other dips. So what do we have here? Yes. Up top, we wanted to elevate your game day dips. So instead of doing just a black bean dip, that yeah. is an African spiced lentil dip, brown lentils. Ooh, really? Okay. Up front, instead of plain old onion dip, we have a smoky five onion dip. So that literally has shallots, garlic, chives, scallions, and yellow onions in it. Very nice. And then you can use it as a dip or as a salad. This is right off of the rugby menu. This is our tuna poke salad with roasted golden and candy striped beets. There's an edamame puree. It's dressed with a citrus thyme vinaigrette. It's can you imagine fresh. showing up? I'll show up at the Super Bowl party with it. <laughs> the healthy I'm showing up with the uh, hey, that fancy tuna poke is really good. Tuna though. poke, I know. Yeah, delicious. I mean, that that yours, Thank right? you so much for being here from the hey, Rugby Grill. And we'll put the recipes on fox2detroit.com.